Okay, so a very good evening to you guys and welcome to our Thursday night quiz. I'm your host, John O'Connor. It is a very good evening to you and thank you so much for coming back and playing our regular spot quiz here this Thursday night. Uh, what have we got on the uh, scores here? Let's have a look at the amount of players, 84, 86. So the numbers are jumping up and we're still getting more and more teams or players purchasing the pin this late. So let's give them another minute or so before we kick things off. And while we're doing that, uh, we once again want to say thank you so much. It's great to have you back here on a regular basis. We have uh, nice numbers, so we should have a decent prize, cash prize tonight. 80 questions as per usual. We're going to split that into four different rounds, 20 questions in each round. We have uh, more multiple choice questions than ever before. We did have issue last week with some of the first letter questions and we are looking to try and get to the bottom as to why we are having issues with those first letter questions so we're doing uh, as few as we can for the moment till we get some uh, feedback from the Kahoot uh, company as to why that's happening uh, a few little changes there as well with regards a few more extra sequence questions uh, these are ones where you have to put them in the correct order uh, from left to right. So hopefully if you've, you've been on our um, Facebook page, you'll see that we've given you some hints and tips on how to play that uh, You will need to head to that website later on. Anyway, it's John O'Connor smartphone quiz host That's where we'll be posting the results up from tonight's quiz So 90 players plus at this stage And I'm sure we'll have a few more late entries as well uh, more quizzes as well this weekend. We've got two charity, one small GAA clubs uh, looking to utilize the, um, the system we have here to raise some funds. And uh, the details for those are on Facebook as well. We sent out a newsletter. Hopefully you got that this morning. And we have an extra quiz as well this Sunday. Uh, it's a themed one. We will be doing some general knowledge uh, quizzes on Sundays going forward. But this Sunday we have a Dirty Dancing uh, quiz. That's uh, a quiz Emma's putting that together for us here in the background. So if you want to join us for that, that's Sunday at 9. Details for the links, again, on our Facebook page. So uh, we're going to crack things on here. As I said, there's a few uh, laid-back questions in here, a few poll questions, uh, ones that don't really have any value for points, but just gives us some great insight as to who's playing, where they're playing, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we'll go through that with you nice and steady. So very best to look to you all tonight. Thanks again, here we go. Okay, the first one I think is a, just a feedback question, guys. Um, which country are you playing this quiz? And if you're in Ireland, you might put your county as well. Whatever's handiest for you guys. Just where people are based. Make sure we're covering all our bases with the questions. 
I'm not leaving anybody out. So let us know what uh, country you're playing this quiz in tonight. Obviously, no points for this one. Right, you guys will be able to see as well. Let's have a look at uh, those. All sorts. Tomorrow, Carlo, Donegal, Waterford, Plenty Waterford, Pew England, Kilkenny, Leash, Kildare. Okay, thanks to that, guys. Thank you very much. Good to know. So our first one is the puzzle. It's the sequence question. That comes next. You need to put these in the correct order from left to right. You'll drag the colours in the order you think are correct. Have a look at this. So, starting with the earliest, put these afternoon times in chronological order. So, dragging them from left to right in the order you think. Starting with the earliest, put these afternoon times in chronological order. You just need to hit the K button then when you've uh, finished that. We will be having a few of these uh, tonight. So, best to learn how to use them. Not too difficult. From left to right, drag the colours. You think in the correct order from left to right. We're giving you a bit of extra time on this one. Um, but I think it goes back to 30 seconds later on. Seventy-six percent of you answered it correctly. The correct order is now below. That is the correct order. Okay, the scoreboard here uh, shows the top five teams. I may have to move myself out of the way here. Your scores are, of course, on the bottom on the bottom right hand corner of the app so uh, keep an eye on that hopefully you can see the top five there now we've moved ourselves out of the way okay on we continue this is a multiple choice question who would be most likely to scrub up before their work gardener chef surgeon mechanic who would scrub up This is pre-coronavirus uh, now, of course. Okay, 91 correct answers with the surgeon. One said the gardener, another said the chef. And I think we could all be we could be all doing that as well at this stage, folks. Uh, belly button is the highest climber here. Up 36 places. Multiple choice again. As I said, there's going to be mostly multiple choice questions. The canal links the Northern Sea with which other body of water? Is it the Baltic Sea, the Black Sea, the Caribbean Sea, or the Mediterranean Sea? Correct answer, it is the uh, Baltic Sea. Correct answer, 59 correct answers. No brains in the lead. Here's question five. Which mammal spends the most time sleeping an average of 22 hours a day? Is it a chimpanzee? Is it koala, sea otter, or meerkats?
It is a koala, 73 correct answers. 12 went with the sea otter. Cargill moved into fourth. Here's question six. Now, these are just for fun again. Uh, no points up for grabs here. Just a bit of fun, a bit of banter at home. Would you rather not clean your teeth for a month or not change your underwear for a month? No points, just a bit of banter for you and whoever's playing along with you tonight. You're going to find out something you didn't know about someone in your family tonight. Thirty-one percent. No, sorry, sixty-nine percent. Not change their underwear for a month. Okay. Question seven. Multiple choice. Which of these is a film starring Robert De Niro and Ben Stiller? Meet the in-laws. Meet the parents. Meet the family. Meet the clang. Eighty-nine correct answers. Meet the parents is the correct answer. Well done. Question eight. Multiple choice. In the Transformers films franchise, who is the leader of the Decepticons? Is it Megaphone, Megabyte, Megatron, Megabus? So in the Transformer film franchise, who is the leader of the Decepticons? Megaphone. Megabyte, Megatron, Megabus. Eighty-eight correct answers. It is Megatron. Is the correct answer Megatron? No Marine still in the lead. El Provisional in second. Quizaster's third, Craig Island in fourth, Wheeland Trio in fifth. Multiple choice again. Here's question nine. Who starred in the 2002 film We Were Soldiers? Russell Crowe, Tom Hanks, Billy Bob Thornton, Mel Gibson. Fifty-one correct answers. It was Mel Gibson. Second most popular answer was Russell Crowe. That's changed a lot here. Mm. Powers back, but an answer trick at three. Multiple choice. Which of these British artists was the first to have a solo number one in the UK? Robbie Williams, Gary Barlow, Jerry Hallowell, Melanie C. So which of these British artists was the first to have a solo number one in the UK? Is it Robbie Williams, Gary Barlow, Jerry Hallowell, Melanie C. Let's have a look at your answers. It is, in fact, Gary Barlow. We're going back to 1996. The song is called Forever Love. 1996. Okay, new leaders on that one. Now, first letter of your answer, I believe. It's a picture question. And uh, what country is this? First letter of your answer is perfect, folks.
Correct answer here. Excellent. Okay, so question 12, multiple choice. What shape is something said to go if it turns out badly? So what shape or what fruit should we say maybe? Is it strawberry, banana, pear or melon? So what, f what fruit is something said to go if it turns out badly? Strawberry, banana, pear, melon, what fruit? Ninety-two correct answers. You could say went pear-shaped. So ninety-two of you were correct here. Chris Astor's moved into third place. So come back three in a row. Question thirteen: Kit Kat is a chocolate-covered wafer biscuit bar confectionery that was originally created by which of these companies? Fries, Cadbury's, Roundtree's. So Kit Kat is a chocolate-covered wafer biscuit bar confection. That was originally created by which company? Fries, Cadbury's, or Roundtree's? Sixty-seven correct answers, but Roundtree's is correct. That's moved a few teams up positions in the top five. Here's question 14. What is usually produced in a factory called a rolling mill? Is it wool, paper, glass, metal? So what's usually produced in a factory called a rolling mill? Is it wool, paper, glass, metal? Metal, correct answer. Podge is back with an answer streak of three. Multiple choice. Which country hosted the 1970 Football World Cup Finals? Chile, Sweden, England, Mexico. So which country hosted the 1970 Football World Cup Finals? Chile, Sweden, England, Mexico. Correct answer here, 66 of you. It is Mexico. Okay, question 60, multiple choice. Which of these is not a capital city? Toronto, Petonia, is it Warsaw or Mexico City? Seventy-one correct answers. Ontario is the capital. It is not Toronto, Canada. Okay, quiz the Asters. Quiz Asters in third place. Flynn's fourth. Multiple choice. I am a TV show from the nineteen eighties. Who is lying? Cheers, friends, Knight Rider, Miami Vice. Correct answer here, it is Friends. Flynn's into third place. Nico, teen in fifth. 
multiple choice. What was Mazda's first car to debut in America in the 1970s? In 1970s, the RX-7 or the 100? Familia Mayeta. Thirty-eight correct answers with the R100. How many of the top five answered leaders? Not one of the teams to answer that one correctly, which is good news if you're below them, which is everyone. Right, we've got another one of these uh, sequence puzzles from left to right. Put these in the correct order. Put these inventions in chronological order. Have a think of this one. We have microscope, escalator, catapult, microwave oven. From left to right, drag these in the correct order order for these inventions in the chronological order. Giving you plenty of time to think about these ones. 91 locked in their answer. 72% put these in the correct order of catapult first, uh, microscope second, escalator third, and then the microwave oven was the fourth one to be invented in that list. Podge into second, LBW have shown their face in the top five. Wheeling trio in fourth, because answer's fifth. We'll be on uh, question 20. Let's play one or two more before we take a quick break. Which of the following artists has Gaga not written for? Lady Gaga has not written for. Is it Cindy Lauper, New Kids on the Block, Britney Spears, or Michael Bolton? Seventeen correct answers. Cindy Lauper is the correct answer here. Leader's not getting this one correct. Right, let's get one more before we take a short break. Which astronaut once punched a documentary filmmaker who claimed that the moon landing were just fake? Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, Alan Shepard, Michael Collins. So which astronaut once punched a documentary filmmaker who claimed that the moon landings, they were all fake. Buzz Aldrin, Neil Armstrong, Alan Shepard, Michael Collins. Sixty-eight correct answers. It was Buzz Aldrin. Who did the punching? Okay, so um, let's play one more. First set of your answer, and then we'll take a short break. Which country's flag is this? First letter of your answer. That's all we need, folks. First letter. First letter of your answer, it is V for Vietnam, 23 correct answers. 
Okay, let's leave the scoreboard here while we take a short break. We're back soon with the uh, second round, the next 20 questions. Do top up those drinks, and we'll see you back here shortly.
Okay, so folks, welcome back to our quiz for the second part of the show. 20 questions to get us to halftime on the way. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Okay, so on we continue. Question 23, multiple choice here. Which Teenage Mutant Turtle is this? Michael, Mike, Michelle, Michelangelo. Remember, you get more points the faster you answer questions correctly. Sometimes they're easy, sometimes they're hard. We want you to get those points as quickly as you can. Eighty-nine have locked in their answer. Eighty-two correctly with Michelangelo. Wheel and Trio is moved into third place with this one. The Macas make it a comeback with three in a row. Question twenty-four. Which invention came into being with the words Watson, come here, I need you. Was it for the light bulb, radio, telephone? Microwave. Which invention came into being with the words, Watson, come here, I need you? Light bulb, radio, telephone, microwave. Correct answer, yes, it was done by telephone. 46 correct answers. Well done. New leaders. I'm going gorgeous. Is it? <laughs> Some of these names are funny. Multiple choice. Here's question 25. Which of these names does not represent a letter in the NATO phonetic alphabet? Juliet, Freddy, Oscar, Mike. So which of these names does not represent a letter in the NATO phonetic alphabet? Juliet, Freddy, Oscar, Mike. Sixty-five correct answers. It is Freddy. Well done. LBW just moved into second. Uh, Podge into third, and Kuzasis into fifth with that question. Okay, question twenty-six. Who did Rachel think proposed to her after she gave birth to Emma? Is it Ross, Joey, Tag, Mike? Seventy-eight correct answers. It is Joey. Four teams moving up a position in the top five. Here's question twenty-seven. What should you never add to a cup of tea that has lemon in it? Cold water, sugar, sugar syrups, or milk? Seventy-five correct answers with milk. All right. New leader, Sponge got into the uh, lead here. We don't three on seconds. Question twenty-eight, multiple choice. Which word is the largest unit of geological time, or a period of a billion years? Is it eon, Jurassic, light year, or milli? So, which word is the largest unit of geological time, or a period of a billion years? Is it Eon, Jurassic, Light Year, or Milli?
Correct answer it is Eon. Well done, 46 of you. Well done. You got in third place. 10 players just hit an answer streak of four. Okay, no points here, just for fun. Would you rather have the best house in a bad neighborhood or have the worst house in a good neighborhood? Have a chat among yourselves there. What would you rather have the best house in a bad neighborhood or have the worst house in a good neighborhood? So 83% of you would rather have the worst house in a good neighborhood. Right puzzle this time from left to right. Put them in the correct sequence. Starting with the fewest, put these words in order of the number of times the letter E appears. Starting with the fewest, put the words in order of the number of times the letter E appears. Still, uh, answers coming in for that one. Don't forget, of course, the faster you put these in the correct order and tap submit or the K button, the more points you earn. 97% of you put them in the correct order. How does that reflect on the scoreboard? We got in into second. All right, here we go. Question 31. Multiple choice. Complete the title of the 2002 Boys to Men track. Relax your... Is it soul, love, heart, mind? So complete the title of the 2002 Boys to Men track. Relax your soul, love, heart, or mind. Okay, 58 correct answers. Relax your mind was the uh, track from Boys to Men. Easy Company have shown their faces here now in uh, third place. Disaster's fourth. Here is question 32, multiple choice. A finger plate is, place, is a piece of metal used to prevent finger marks on what? Books, doors, glasses, mirrors. Seven correct answers with the doors. No change in the top five. Postman, God bless him, is back in the game. Three in a row. Multiple choice here. Which of these animals builds its nests mainly in trees? Badger, squirrel, rabbit, mole. So which of these animals builds its nest mainly in trees? Is it the badger, squirrel, rabbit, mole? ADA correct answers with squirrel. Question 34. This is the first letter of your answer. First letter of your answer. Who is this actor? First letter, first name. As we know him as, first letter, first name.
Correct answer. V. Val Kilmer. 39 correct answers. Two leaders, easy company. We've just gone into the lead with this one. Okay, multiple choice. Which of these is a variety of shark? Is it a mayo, mako, mojo, mono? Which of these is a variety of shark? Sixty-four correct answers. Michael, well done. Sol in third place, LBW in fourth, Nico team in fifth. Here's uh, question 36, multiple choice. In a play, what name is given to an extended speech by one person? Monogram, monotone, monologue, monorail. So to play, what name is given to an extended speech by one person? Monogram, monotone, monologue, monorail. Correct answer, it is a monologue. 89 correct answers. Okay, question 37. Who won an Oscar for Best Cinematography in 2017? For which of these was it Arrival La La Land? Line Moonlight. Who won Oscar for Best Cinematography 2017? Was it Arrival La La Land? Line Moonlight. Sixty-three correct answers with La La Land. Well done. Nico T just into third with that one. LBW fifth place. Easy company still in the lead. Here is question thirty-eight. First letter of your answer, I think. Which of these presidents carved on Mount Rushmore has a beard? First letter, first name, please. First letter, first name. Abraham Lincoln, 62 correct answers. Okay, question 39, multiple choice here, folks. Veteran actor who became the highest grossing actor in Hollywood, having earned 4.7 billion across his 41 film roles, was it Harrison Ford, Samuel L. Jackson, Liam Nielsen, Morgan Freeman. So, veteran actor who became the highest grossing actor in Hollywood, having earned 4.7 billion across 41 film roles. Correct answer, it is Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, 34 correct answers. Leaders, easy company, not one of the teams to answer correctly. Question 40, let's play a couple of more before we take the halftime break. Which figure is associated with the flood that recounted in the Old Testament? Paul, David, Noah, Moses. So which figure is associated with the flood that is recounted in the Old Testament? Paul, David, Noah, Moses.
65 said Noah. 27 went with Moses. Interesting. Okay. Uh, new leaders. Podge gone into the lead. Easy company slipping down into second place. Here's another puzzle for you. Left to right, folks. Put them in the correct order. Put these countries in alphabetical order. So put these countries in alphabetical order from left to right. Eighty-four percent of you answered this correctly. The correct order is below. Okay, let's take a look at the scoreboard. So at the halftime break, we're back to you in five minutes, folks, with the questions to round number three. If you want to follow that, thank you.
Okay, so welcome back, folks, to the uh, third part in tonight's quiz. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Questions are uh, not too difficult, I hope. Podge in the lead. Let's see who can catch him. I'm sure this is going to change a couple of times more before the evening's up. Let's continue with our quiz. Here we go. Question 42, multiple choice. In what country of the UK are there no national parks? Is it Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England? So in what country of the UK are there no national parks? Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England. Sixty-eight correct answers with Northern Ireland. Well done. Okay, question forty-three. First letter of your answer. Jive and jitterbug. They're examples of what activity? Just give me the first letter of your answer. Jive and jitterbug. They're examples of what activity? First letter only. Let's have a look at the answers received. Correct answer, it is dance. 88 correct answers. MJ answer streak of 11 correct answers in a row. Multiple choice. Brian Jones helped form what band in 1962? Was it the Stone Roses, the Rolling Stones, Queen Abba? Sixty-six correct answers. The Rolling Stones. LBW uh, showing themselves again. Position five. Here's question forty-five. The boomslang snake. It's native to what continent? Is it Asia, Africa, North America, or Europe? Boomslang snake. It's native to what continent? Asia, Africa, North America, Europe. Okay, 40 correct answers. It is Africa. Top five staying as they were. Okay, we're going to slowly reveal a photograph here now. I need first letter, first name. Who's the actor? First letter, first name. When you know it, give me the first letter. Correct answer. It is T for Tommy Lee Jones. Okay, so first letter of your answer. A veruca is usually found in what part of the body? First letter of your answer is all we need. Just the first letter, please. Thank you.
Great answer here it is F. Foot. Top five staying as they were. Here is question 48, multiple choice. A pyramid with a triangular base has how many other sides? Two, three, four, five. Pyramid with a triangular base has how many other sides? Correct answer here, it is three. Easy company gone into the lead. Sold into third. Here's question 49, first letter. First letter is all we need. First letter, first answer. Here we go. Who is the son of Disney character Hortenser MacDuck? First letter of your answer. Correct answer here, it is D for Donald, Donald Duck. Okay, so question 50, multiple choice. Doctor Who made its TV debut in what decade? The 50s, the 60s, the 70s, or the 80s? So Doctor Who made its TV debut in what decade? Was it the 1950s? 1960s, 1970s, or was it the 1980s? Fifty-five correct answers with the nineteen sixties. The team into third place with this one here. Three players lost their answer streak of four on that question. First letter of your answer. What animal precedes chestnut and radish in the names of two plants? First letter of your answer. So what animal the animal is horse chestnut horse radish 83 correct answers double trouble making a comeback with three in a row here's question 52 multiple choice in what year did traffic wardens first appear on british streets was it the 1940s 1950 1960 or 1970 so in what year did the traffic warden first appear on British streets 1940, 1950, 1960 1960 is the correct answer. Well done, 41 of you. Majority answering correctly here. Uh, have a look at question 53. Multiple choice. Robert Redford and Leonardo DiCaprio have both played which literary character on film? Was it Jay Gatsby, Romeo or Holden Caulfield?
55 correct answers. Jay Gatsby is correct. Okay, so top five as they were. Curly Sue 82. Back in the game. Three in a row. Next, we have a picture question. First letter of your answer. I want to slowly reveal it again. Whose logo is this? Give me the first letter and first letter only, please. Whose logo is this? Keep an eye on the countdown, folks. Lock in those answers. Just a few seconds remaining here. Okay, not all teams got an answer in in time. Best to take a guess at least. You never know when your look is in. 66 of you locked in an answer. Correct answer. It is B for Barclays. Only fifth place in the top five answered it correctly. Okay, multiple choice. What was Johnny Wilkins' uh, playing position for England? Was it scrum half, full back, or fly half? So, what was Johnny Wilkinson's uh, playing position for England? Was it scrum half, full back, or fly half? Sixty-nine correct answers with fly half is correct. Okay, so question fifty-six. First letter of your answer. First letter, first name. Which comedian starred in the series Fresh Meat and Bad Education? First letter, first name. Which comedian starred in the series Fresh Meat and Bad Education? Right, let's have a look at your answers. It is Jack, Jack Whitehall. 62 correct answers with Jack Whitehall. Potch back in the lead, LBW in third place. Easy comedy down to second. Quizly Bears is the highest climber of three places. Multiple choice. What is the name of the band fronted by Pharrell Williams? Is it? Geek, Dork, Nerd. So what's the name of the band fronted by Pharrell Williams? Is it Geek, Dork, Nerd? Seventy-two correct answers. N E R D is the correct way of pronouncing it. Seventy-two. Well done. Easy company gone into lead with that question. Chris Astor is back in the game. Right, just for fun. Next, would you rather? No points here. Listen to older music or listen to newer music. Yeah, these just for fun, just to take a little breather in between these questions. I have Dane here. 84% listen to older music, while 16 listen to newer. All right. Okay, next question, first letter of your answer. What racing circuit held its first British Grand Prix in 1948? First letter of your answer is all we need. So what race and circuit held its first British Grand Prix in 1948?
So many different answers coming in. The correct one here. S for silver stone. 56 correct answers. Podge back in the lead. It is bouncing around that first position tonight. Nobody's settling in it. Question 60, multiple choice here. What nickname was given to the long-nosed dinosaur whose remains were discovered in China in 2014? Is it Concord, Beetlejuice, or Pinocchio? So it was the nickname given to the long-nosed dinosaur whose remains were discovered in 2014 in China. Concord, Beetlejuice, Pinocchio. Seventy-two correct answers here. Pinocchio. LBW in second place with that one. Right, let's play one or two more. Uh, before we take a break, another sequence puzzle from left to right. Put these words in alphabetical order as quick as you can. The more points from left to right, put these words in alphabetical order. Gonna take a short break after this question, folks. Our final break. We head for round four, the last twenty questions. of you locked in your answers 88% put them in the correct order as they are below well done let's take a look at the scoreboard as we take our final break tonight back to you shortly folks with those questions
Welcome back, guys, to our quiz. Hope you're enjoying it so far. Three rounds down, one to go. We're on the home stretch now, folks. The next 20 questions or so. Uh, will we have some more changes on this scoreboard here? I'm sure we will. It has been bouncing around tonight for some reason. It's always a good sign. Okay, so on we continue with our quiz. Multiple choice. A whole lot of history is an autobiography of which girls allowed member. Kimberly Walsh, Nicola Roberts, Nadine Coyle, or is it Cheryl? A whole lot of history. It's an autobiography of which girls allowed member. Kimberly Walsh, Nicola Roberts, Nadine Coyle, Cheryl. Thirty-four correct answers with Cheryl. Woo, big jump. Nicotine went straight in the lead with this one. Nice. Here we go. Multiple choice. Which of these board games does a player start with the most pieces? Backgammon, chess, drafts. So which of these board games does a player start with the most pieces? Backgammon, chess, drafts. Fifty-two correct answers with chess. Well done. Chess, correct answer. LBW in pole position. All right. Uh, first letter of your answer here. First letter, first name. Who was sent off for kicking Diego Simeone in the 1998 World Cup? First letter, first name. Who was sent off for kicking Diego Simeone in the 1998 World Cup? First letter, first name. As usual, folks, hope you're used to that at this stage. Correct answer here, it is David Beckham. 57 correct answers. So in the third place with this one. Here's question 65. Again, first letter, first name. Who is this Harry Potter character? First letter, first name. First letter, first name, as usual. Who is this Harry Potter character? So many different answers coming in here. It is A. Alastair Moody is the correct answer. So into second place now. Multiple choice, question 66. Which of these locations is furthest from Spain? Is it the Spanish Steps, Spanish Riding School or Spanish Harlem? Which of these locations is furthest from Spain? Is it Spanish Steps, Spanish Riding School, Spanish Harlem? Sixty-five correct answers. Spanish Harlem is the correct answer. Podge moved up his position, as did Easy Company. Multiple choice, question 67. Which all 
made pop group had a all male it should say all male pop group had a number one in 2001 with the single let's dance boys on five or steps again the question should be which all male pop group had a uk number one in 2001 with the single let's dance Yeah, it should only really be between two of them there because Steps was not an all-male group. Boys on and five or five correct answer. Seventy-three of you went with the correct answer. Question sixty-eight, multiple choice. The Thomas Cup is a men's international team event. In what racket sport is it? Squash, tennis, or badminton? So the Thomas Cup, it's a male's international team event in what racket sport? Squash, tennis, badminton. Fifty-five correct answers, it is badminton. Top five as they were. Question 69, multiple choice. Usain Bolt took how many strides to win the 100 meters final at the 2012 Olympics? 41, 51, 61. Usain Bolt took how many strides to win the 100 meters final at the 2012 Olympics? Was it 41, 51 or 61? Fifty of you answered it correctly. It was forty-one strides. Uh, the next nearest was fifty-one. Okay, no change at the top five. Question seventy, multiple choice. The in the sitcom Keeping Up Appearances, the sisters are all named after what? Days of the week, flowers, or Shakespeare characters? In the sitcom Keeping Up Appearances, the sisters all named after what? Days of the week, flowers, or Shakespeare characters? Eighty-seven correct answers with flowers. Four of you said Shakespeare characters. I'll stop it back at the game. Answer streak of three. Multiple choice. Next. A Twitter hashtag resembles the sign of what type of musical note? Flat, natural, sharp. A Twitter hashtag resembles the sign of what type of musical note? Flat, natural, sharp. Correct answer here, it is sharp. 69 of you answered correctly. Okay, question 72 now, multiple choice. Which Hollywood actor played bass in the band called Dogstar? Keanu Reeves, Kiefer Sutherland, Val Kilmer. So which Hollywood actor played bass in a band called Dogstar? Is it Keanu Reeves, Kiefer Sutherland, Val Kilmer? Ninety-one of you locked in your answer. Slightly clue there. If you could work it out in the picture, it was Keanu Reeves. Fifty-nine correct answers. LBW in the lead. 
looking healthy as well it is a first set of your answer question a pulled muscle is represented by a rubber band in what version of what board game so a pulled muscle is represented by a rubber band in a version of what board game first letter of your answer that's all we need Correct answer here it is. Operation O is fine. For 78 correct answers here. Easy company into third place. Question 74. Now multiple choice. According to legend, what was the name of the wizard who was advisor to King Arthur? Mervyn, Martin, Marcus, Merlin. So according to legend, what was the name of the wizard who was advisor to King Arthur? Mervyn, Martin, Marcus, Merlin. Eighty-one correct answers with Merlin. Okay, so broke my mountain back with an answer streak of 15 correct answers. Multiple choice. Little, funny, and snowy. They're all species of one bird. Sparrow, cuckoo, owl, parrot. Eighty correct answers with owl. Well done if you had it. Okay, multiple choice. The national flag of Sweden consists of two of which two colours? Blue and white, white and red, red and yellow, or yellow and blue. Two correct answers yellow and blue. Okay, so next question multiple choice. Who is this football player? Is it David Luis, Bernardo Silva, uh, David Silva, or Kevin De Bruyne? Sixty-eight correct answers. David Silva is the correct answer. Top five staying exactly the same position. Multiple choice. Which of these is a term meaning collective intelligence? Is it hutch mind, warren mind, set mind, hive mind? It is Hive Mind 64 if you answered this correctly. No changes. The late stage of the quiz, down to the last few questions. Multiple choice. In Greek mythology, who is the goddess of victory? 
Is it Umbro, Reebok, Adidas, Nike? Sixty correct answers. Like, likey, whichever way you like to say it. Sixty one done. All right. Not too much happening on the scoreboard here. It is multiple. No, sorry. It is a sequence question. In fact, from left to right, put these features of a well-known nursery rhyme in the order they first appear. Put these features of a well-known nursery rhyme in the order they first appear. The faster you do it, the more points you gather. Ninety-four of you answered it correctly. The order is below. Have a look at it there. Ninety-four percent correctly. Okay, so uh, where are we at? Multiple choice picture question, I believe. Whose logo is this? We're going to slowly reveal it. You have four options to pick from. Fiat Nissan, Ford, Mitsubishi. Eighty-nine of you answering correctly with Mitsubishi. Right, so next question here. Here's one we just uh, came across today. It's a new feature they've introduced. We'll be seeing more of these in the future. Uh, multiple choice. Um, there are a couple of correct answers now in this multiple choice one. And I think if you give me two of them, you get the points. If you give me one right, one wrong, you don't get any points. Okay, so there's two right answers, two wrong answers. And it's uh, fill in the uh, Queen lyric. Okay, two right answers, two wrong answers. If you give me two correct answers, you get more points. If you give me one right, one wrong, you get none. Hopefully that's explained it a little bit well. It's only came out this today. Multi, multi select. They're calling it. Fill in the Queen lyric. Is this the real something? Is this just what? Caught in a what? There are two correct answers you can use here. Two wrong answers. Give me one right, one wrong, you get no points. Give me two correct answers, you get more points. So we've allowed a bit of extra time on this one here. It's a brand new style question. We'll hope to introduce a few more of these. Uh, in the coming weeks. I think all teams have locked in their answer. Just a few more seconds here. Excellent work, lads. Well done. It is, is this real life? Is this just a fantasy? Caught in a landslide, I think is the next lyric on that, which wasn't an option. 
So well done if you got some points for that one. Okay, next question here it is. We're coming down to the last couple here. That's uh, question 83. A gift of wood is usually given to celebrate which wedding anniversary? Third, fifth. And there's no proper one there, lads. So I'm sure it is one of the top row. Sixty-two correct answers. It is the fifth is the correct answer. Okay, uh, would you rather? Let's finish up on these ones, folks. Would you rather live in a perfect city with a bad job, live in a boring city with a perfect job? No points up for grabs here. Okay, 66%. Live in a boring city with a perfect job. Now the poll one here. Is this your first Thursday night quiz with us? Yes or no? Last one tonight, folks. Is this your first Thursday night quiz with us? Seventy-six percent of you have been here before. Twenty-four percent of you, this is your first Thursday night. That's good to know. I hope you enjoyed the quiz, folks. All is left to do is to give you the unofficial results. Unless we're going to double-check these. Third place, Easy Company tonight. In second, it is Sul. First place, is it last week's winner? I think it may be LBW are the winners. Fourth for Podge and Nicotine in fifth. These results will be confirmed on our Facebook page in about 10 or 15 minutes, folks. Uh, thank you so much. If you could give us a little bit of feedback on your devices right now, you could uh, let us know how we're doing. And that's all we have time for tonight. Thank you so much for playing. Hope you enjoyed it. We are back here again uh, for the weekend, in fact. We have some more uh, fundraisers for some GAA clubs. All the details for those are on our Facebook uh, page when you head over there for the results you'll find those we're back uh, as well on sunday for something different uh themed quiz all things to do with dirty dancing the massive movie we're going to be testing your knowledge on it you've seen it hundreds of times i'm sure you have come join us we'll test your knowledge cash prize on sunday again as well for that until then folks thank you so much for playing this thursday and i'll see you for the next one very soon take care of yourselves